Hi everyone! In this video, I will show you how to use Data MIDI 2 in Cubase. Now, first of all, I want to say that there is a problem with performance using a Data MIDI in Cubase. I'm not sure yet why it happens, but uh, you have to use a, a latency, a large latency of 124 samples buffer size. Otherwise, you're getting uh, dropouts in Cubase. Um, so, other than that, it works. So, I will show you how to use it. Again, using uh, 1024 samples buffer size. Alright, let's start. I have this audio recording just missing that I recorded previously. Let's listen to it. All right, now let's add auto MIDI to it. All right, here is our channel. We're gonna add it as an insert effect. Auto MIDI VST three, and here it is. Now we're gonna add another track. An instrument track and we're going to choose add into it's already selected add into as the synthesizer that we are going to test all right a track here it is now on add into we need to change the pitch bend range to 24 semitones. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do is to add another instance of Dota MIDI as an insert of the Odin 2 track so we can control the volume. So let's add it again Dota MIDI. Here it is, the second instance. Now, on the second instance, we're going to unselect master. So, in the first instance, we have master selected, and the second instance, master unselected. And the port number has to be the same, so it's one in uh, both of these instances. And if you're going to add more instances of Dota MIDI to other tracks, just make sure you use other port numbers for the instance uh, pair. Okay, uh, one more thing we need to do for this track, the instrument track, we need to tell it to take the MIDI from this track, from the track where Dota MIDI is in. So we do it here, we select this track and we choose an input. Here it is. Audio 1, instrument 1, dot MIDI. Now everything is connected and it should work. Let's hear it. Okay, uh, one last thing, let's make some changes to the sound. Uh, let's open Dota MIDI and maybe change an octave up. And in Audin, we're going to make a small change as well. Let's open Audin. We're just going to change the envelope to zero attack because Dota MIDI already controls the envelopes and we want the sound to be more responsive so let's change the attack to zero and listen to it again and that's it in this video I showed you how to use Dota MIDI with the audience synthesizer in uh, Cubase Thank you.